Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how I did this template from Rhinestone Mechanic. I really hope you guys stay tuned and let's put this baby together. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this shirt. This file right here is from the Rhinestone Mechanic, and this, this file right here is from my file addiction. Let's get started. So today, I want to make me a patriotic shirt, and we have the 4th of July coming up. Memorial Day just passed, um, and you know, I always like to rep my country too, you know, the USA. So, I got this file from the Rhinestone Mechanic, and oh my god, I just love it. So, we are going to put this together. The colors that we are using today is SS6 Crystal, SS10 Crystal, I have Sapphire, and Light Scion. And these are going to be the colors... So, I already cut out my template to save time. And all we have to do is just peel it out. And that should be super easy. And as you guys know, a lot of the files come out to be... So, the bounding box of these files is 11 by 7. But I'm not going to use all of that flock when I have so much space in between... So, what I ended up doing was changing the bounding box, and I made it smaller, and this is what it comes out like. So, I ended up doing it on less material from the flock, because flock is expensive, guys. It's not cheap. So, let me get me a mat. If you'd like for me to show you, let me know, and I'll make a video. Okay, so here goes my... cutting mat and I'm just going to add this down here and all of this should fit perfect right down this cutting mat so I got the first one up and this I mean when I cut my files with the holographic cut setting I don't never have no issues Okay, so this is the SS6, and you can tell that it's the SS6 because they are smaller. And the Rhinestone Mechanic, his files are awesome, guys. So you can easily just tear this up like this, and then... What you can do is turn this around and add this on your paper and rub it down and then peel it back up. And that should get rid of the other you might have to press a little bit. Okay, so just making sure I'm not missing any. I'm just missing one, and I could take that one out with my fingers. Okay, and now I'm just going to bring my mat back in. And I'm going to put the SS6 down here. So I know that this is the SS6. I mean, I'll I'll know it automatically because you can tell the holes are much smaller than the SS10s. And now I'm going to peel the rest. Okay, so there's only four pieces that we had to cut out. And since we made them smaller, it didn't take too much. 
Look at how it's just peeling off. Oh my God. Okay, so now we got part of the other file. And I'm gonna put that one right here. But before I press down, I wanna make sure that I have room for this one. Okay, so I'm just tearing off this other one. Okay. And as you can see, I have no dots left behind. And it's really close. And I got all four pieces right on one mat. So now let's start blinging. So as you can see, I have little waist. I could take this as one, two, two and a half inches by one, two, three, four inches. This is one inch. So if you got one inch or one and a half inch uh, lettering, you can make your little templates. And that's what I'm going to do with all of my file, all of my flock that I have left. I bought a file a while ago of just the alphabet and the two sizes, the lowercase and the uh, uppercase. So I'm just going to make little templates. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Okay, so now we're going to take our template and it's kind of curved up because of the other template I have on it okay now that's much better so first things first I want to make sure I have some transfer ready and set so here goes my transfer okay so I'm gonna put that transfer on the side so now we're going to start coloring this up so the first color that I'm going to use, it is going to be, I think I'm going to, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the first color we are going to use is going to be Sapphire. So let me get my brush. I got my pick tool. I got my little scraper. And now let's start blinging this out. So let me bring you guys down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my lid and we're going to pour some of the baby's booty sapphire. And I have this template on backwards, but that's all right. As long as when you put it on the shirt, it's right ways, you're good. I'm just brushing these in. And guys, I'm going to tell you again, Sapphire it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Okay, I'm going to finish brushing these in. I'm going to add the stones that I need and I'll be back to transfer. Now I'm going to cut that. So I'm just going to use my rotary blade. And there goes one part. On to the next. Now let's grab our SS10 crystal. And guys, for those of you that are interested in getting some rhinestones and you don't know what colors to pick, First colors that you should have in your stash is Crystal and Crystal AB. So now, 
I got this part right here and I'm gonna use the crystal in that part. And now I'm just brushing these in. And now I'm gonna go clean up as much as I can and we're gonna transfer so let me do that hey so now it's time to transfer And now let me put the back in and I will cut this up. And this file is super cute. And now let me cut this up. And that's the second one. And now let's put away our rhinestones so we do not get them mixed up. And now I am gonna come out with the light cyan. And now I'm just going to brush them in right here. And let's fill this part in. This color, this light cyan, I like the dark cyan now, but this light cyan has such a different tone to it. It is gorgeous. So now I'm just going to brush this on to the side. I'm going to clean all of this up and then we're going to fill in. Okay, so... I'm looking for doubles. And it don't look like none, so I'm going to clean this up. And we are going to transfer this one. And then what we have left is just the SS6. Okay. And all of that came out beautiful. I'm gonna put the backing back on. Okay. So now I'm gonna put this on the side. And I got one last one to do, and it's the SS6. Now for the SS6, it's gonna be simple. Now these are super tiny guys. They're super, super small. Okay, so now I'm gonna do and brush these in. These are super tiny, guys. Wow. I was never fond with working with SS6 because they're so tiny. But I can see how some of these can really look on your image. Especially if you want, like, a full image. Okay. I'm just going to add the stones that I'm missing. Let me add this back to my jar. Okay, so I think I got all of the SS6. I got one last transfer. Okay. 
That's looking good, looking good, looking good. Now I'm going to put my backing back on. And now, let's go to the heat press. Let's go to the heat press. Hey, hey. Okay, guys, so let's go. Okay, so I decided to cut out some letters. And this that file that I got is from my file addiction. And she has these letters that are alphabetical. And it's stackable letters, but I just took the stacking off and I just used the letters by itself. And I'm going to use the letters USA. So, I'm going to start off with the U and that's going to be red, white, and blue. So, let's start off with the red. And when I cut this out, I cut it shy, but I'm going to end up adding it to fill it in. So, now I'm just going to add these down. And then I'm going to brush them in. Now I'm just going to go and fill in what's missing. And I think I'm only missing one line. So I'm just going to add it down. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a transfer, and I'm going to transfer that out. And let's transfer that letter. Okay, now you really can't even tell that I'm missing on the bottom because all it was was three little stones that I was missing. Okay, so now I'm just going to peel this off. Making sure that I grab everything. And I'm going to put this on the backing. And then if you want to make life easier, you could just cut this. And then we're going to go to the next. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to use the S. And the S is going to be crystal instead of white because that's what I'm using. And now we're just going to run this down, brush it in, and then transfer it. Okay, so now we're going to transfer. And I got that one transfer, and I'm going to cut that one up, and then we're going to do the blue. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in what I'm missing. Okay, so now I got the A, so now I'm going to transfer the A over, and then we're going to press this. And if you want, with that file, you can cut the whole entire alphabet out and have it as templates. And whenever you want to make a sign or a lettering that's two and a half inches tall, there you go, guys. You already got it all cut out. So now I'm going to put a transfer over this. And then we're going to go put this on our shirt. Okay, guys. So here goes my shirt. And it's just a regular v-neck shirt. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a quick press. I have all my transfers right here. And the first one I'm going to start with is the blue. So once this comes up to temperature, is the blue lips.
Okay, so now that I got that, I'm going to go press it for 12 seconds. Okay, got our first one down. Now we're going to do a hot peel. Oh my god, that blue is so gorgeous. And then the next step is to put in our SS6. Let's see. Okay, so now I got the SS6 in. I'm going to press that for 10 seconds. Okay, so we're going to do a hot peel. Oh, that looks so good. Now I'm going to take my light cyan. Okay, so we're going to press that for 10 seconds. Oh my God, that light cyan is beautiful. And now for the last piece, and it is the crystal. And this, this goes right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm gonna press this. Okay. okay, so I'm going to give it a final press. I'm going to put a Teflon over it. And let's press this for 12 seconds. And I have my USA. And I'm going to add this right down here. And then I'm going to show you how this shirt looks. Okay. So that's what my shirt looks like. Now let's go to the table. Man, look at all that bling bling. Well, here goes my shirt. Look at how cool that shirt is. It came out really, really good. The letters are perfect, red, white, and blue. The lips are for patriotic. I mean, I just love it. So now, let's see how it looks on me, guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring you down. And this is what my shirt looks like. It came out super cute. I love it. Look at the bling bling. Oh my God, I can't even. Oh. This file is from Rhinestone Mechanic. Definitely head over there and go check his files out. It is amazing. He ended up giving this file out with the baby's booty so if you guys are wanting this file go over to his website and look for the baby's booty and then you have the file there i think it's right now it's ten dollars wow i just love it and the usa came out gorgeous and that file is from my file addiction so guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video, please thumbs it up. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to press that notification bell. I so do appreciate you guys subscribing to me. And until next time, we'll see what else we could come up with. Talk to you guys soon. Bye now.